Welcome everybody, I'm Jonathan Russell, the Global Vice President for Digital Experience and Process Automation at SAP. Today, I'm gonna to take you through why you should implement digital process automation on SAP's BTP. Today, we're gonna to look at three different elements. First, I'm gonna take you through an overview of process automation and the extension suite. Then I'm gonna take you through SAP's vision for our low code, no code portfolio. And finally, we're gonna look at the importance of process automation with RISE with SAP. So let's jump into it and take it from there. Firstly, I just want to look at how important process automation is within our intelligent enterprise vision. So again, process automation is critical to executing those end-to-end -end processes to become an intelligent enterprise. And that's how we can extend processes within the different applications, but also across the applications as well. So again, to be able to execute end-to-end -end processes in app and side by side, leveraging the power of our process automation tools. What I want to do now is drill in one stage further and look at business process intelligence. Now, there are two sides to the coin with business process intelligence. The first is regards looking at business process insights. This is leveraging the Signavio portfolio. Where we're able to mine and understand and look to understand how we can look at process improvement and process opportunities within the portfolio, whether that's S4 across the different line of business applications as well. But insight without action is of no value as well. And this is where we bring to bear the power of both the extension suite, but our process automation portfolio. So once we've understood where process improvement could happen and also benchmark against the industry, we then provide the ability to execute that process automation capability through workflow and robotic process automation as well. So we really take it from insight to action, leveraging the portfolio across business process intelligence. Let's drill down further into the portfolio now. So the business technology platform underpins the entire intelligent enterprise. And within the business technology platform, there are the four different sort of pillars. And today we're going to focus on application development and integration, and most importantly, looking at the extension suite and further refined down to process automation as well. So let's drill into the extension suite to understand what are the capabilities that sit within it. So within the extension suite, we split it into three different areas. Each are interoperable, so and all work seamlessly together. We, we simply split them like this to be able to for people to understand how the different services come together. First, we look at digital experience, which is where you'll find work zone and the launch pad and mobile services. Secondly, we look at digital process automation. This is where you'll find our digital process automation studio, our workflow capability, our robotic process automation as well. And finally, looking at developer efficiency. This is where you'll find the developer tools, and this is where we go from that developer com continuum from low code, no code, through to pro code, again, leveraging both AppGyver and the business application studio. But before we go any further, what I want to do is look at where is the advantages and why should you lever leverage the extension suite to drive process automation within your company? So the real advantage that we see with regards to the business technology platform really comes from when we look at the integration and extension suite is around all of the fantastic pre-built content that's been created. These can be pre-built integration packs to be able to connect SAP and non-SAP applications together. They can be pre-built bots and workflow packages as well to harmonize and execute end-to-end -end processes with regards in with regards the dip with regards to different lines of business within SAP as well and further drill down looking at it with regards S for HANA as well so again how can we look to really drive business transformation on your journey to actually implementing S for HANA and of course, this is all supported by our vast ecosystem of over 15,000 partners across our 25 industries as well, who are all leveraging the business technology platform to build content and increase sort of best practices across the industries. And finally, as well, what we've looked to do is create an innovative commercial model. So you can trial these for free, leveraging free tier as well, and also the pilots. And then as you need to, you can expand expand and roll these out, leveraging a mixture of different consumption-based pricing models as well to make it as flexible as possible to drive business transformation into your organization. So now let's look at our low-code, no-code portfolio. But what I want to do first is understand, well, why are we investing so heavily in this area and what's the importance of it to both our partner community, but also our customers? 
So I'm not going to leverage the point here, and I think we're all very familiar with the challenges we've all faced with regards to the sort of the global pandemic, and now creating very much a sort of a hybrid work environment and looking to drive resilience and optimization within our working worlds today. So again, we have truly volatile markets, which again is something we're looking to address with regards to process automation. The other critical element driving low code, no code as well is around limited resources. Again, those core skills to be able to pro code and write code are very much in short supply. So what we're able to do now, leveraging the no code and low code capabilities is to extend that process automation app development capability to those that can't write code. So again, to drive a far greater development efficiency. And finally as well, I think we can all step back and look at our own organizations, look at the complex IT landscapes where we all exist with and this hybrid world that we now live in of both on-premise and cloud as well and again the multitude of applications of both SAP and non-SAP as well so it's a case of how can we harmonize these and create efficiency leveraging our low-code no-code portfolio let's look at what Gartner have got to say on this so I think what we're saying at the moment and what they've come back and said is around 10% of an organization typically is the capability to develop apps and typically leveraging some of the tools. And it could be like our business application studio. But again, that is that is a low code tool, but it's not a no code tool. So actually, how can we put the power in the, into the hands of employees to allow them to build processes and build apps to meet their business needs and actually enhance the workforce? And again, what we're looking at from a Gartner perspective is to be able to actually increase that sort of ability to build up to 30% of your entire employee workforce as well. Again, creating this citizen developer who is able to build both processes and apps within with using the low-code, no-code portfolio. So really, really important. Now let's look at the portfolio itself within SAP. So there were three different aspects that I'm going to drill in today. So we're going, to, we're going to kick off with process automation, but also we'll look at application development and a unified user experience. But before we dive into process automation and workflow, again, just wanted to highlight how this beautifully dovetails with our business process intelligence side of it, where we're able to look at the insights to be able to mine and understand what's best practice sort of workflow, and then look to execute those improvements, obviously levering the process automation capability. So let's dive into the portfolio a little bit further and see what capabilities it has. So we have a fully fledged automation capability that sits within the extension suite as well, all created with regards to single access point. So again, everything comes together in a centralized area, and then also the ability to actually then deploy and actually execute these applications and then build these applications and workflows all in a drag and drop sort of capability. But also most importantly as well, once they've been rolled out and executed and are running in the organization, being able to monitor these as well, to be able to look at the process visibility side of it. And of course, continually monitor these as well to see where further enhancements can be made. So again, looking at end-to-end -end process execution with regards across an entire organization. But it's not just a case of don't take my word for it. It's a case of saying we're already seeing so many customers leveraging the power of both workflow and robotic process automation, whether that's automating the sort of the capital expenditure sort of process as well, or driving sort of efficiencies through sort of procurement or truly transforming sort of customer engagement as well. There are a multitude of different uses across all different lines of business to drive success and automation and business transformation with regard to leveraging our process automation automation capability. I touched on before when we're looking at some of the competitive advantages of the platform, but what I wanted to just drill down on this slightly further. So again, what we've done in conjunction with obviously the partner ecosystem as well is build and create over 250 bots that are there to execute SAP processes that are there and available for you to download and execute within your organization as well. And again, our partner community has built so many more with regard to their own different ecosystems as well. We've also built a number of live sort of process content packages as well. So these are end-to-end -end workflow packages that can be downloaded and executed in your organization across a multitude of lines of business, whether it's S4 or Success Factors or Ariba, right the way across our entire intelligence suite. So these are workflow packages designed to execute SAP processes within your organization. But we've not stopped there as well. We're also leveraging our power around AI and machine learning as well to further differentiate and I'll touch on this when we look at Rise with SAP and how we're driving further differentiation, leveraging AI and machine learning. 
So this now, when we pull all of this together, this gives us the ability to execute a true end-to-end -end story from process insights and also combining that with customer experience data that's been captured via Qualtrix to then understanding and benchmarking that process improvement opportunity and then executing that improvement capability and going on and monitoring that through our process visibility for a continuous virtual circle of process excellence. And this is something we pulled together across the entire organization as well to deliver that end-to-end -end value proposition. Now what I want to do is look at application development. So it's fantastic to be able to build these workflows, but actually how can I now look to deploy those within an app and extend an application as well? So let's drill into our application portfolio and our new no-code capability. So we recently launched um, SAP AppGyver. And again, we now have a true no-code app development capability. So again, allowing customers and the citizen developers and end users to be able to build mobile applications or applications with regards with regards to apps within their within the application portfolio as well in a true drag and drop capability without the, without the need of a single line of code as well. And there's fantastic capability which sits within the app guy of our portfolio that I'll bring to life for you. So firstly, before we do that, what we're going to do is look at some of the customer successes. So again, Fingrid have already been actually leveraging this sort of capability to sort of build app and deploy them across their entire organization as well. And again, these are all built using a true no-code platform as well. So again, this, this app was built without the need to write a single line of code. But what do we need to do that? We need a full end-to-end -end capability. So as we mentioned, as there's no code, what we have here is a drag and drop UI as well. Again, we're looking at visual logic as well. It's not about writing code. It's being able to pull together those logical steps. It's then taking care of the security and the governance as well. And then it's being able to deploy that across a multitude of different platforms, whether that's the mobile or the web as well. So again, building these no code apps and then being able to actually deploy them as well. But not all the time are we going to need a no-code capability. There's obviously the entire developer continuum. And of course, now I want to turn to the business application studio. This is where we're looking with our pro-code capability um, with regards to the portfolio. So again, we obviously see, we believe obviously our pro-code developers will obviously leverage the no-code capability to accelerate and drive efficiency, but not everything can be no-code. We also provide the capability to build these rich and immersive apps, which with regards to leveraging the business application studio. And again, this entire extension suite portfolio has been recognized by Ghana as a leader in the multi-experience development platform as well. So you have everything you need at your fingertips to be able to build these multi-experience apps across a multitude of line of business and obviously with a strong process automation capability. So where we see the business application studio, it is a true turnkey solution that is genuinely providing a low code capability to simplify development. It comes with a multitude of pre-integrations with SAP and also non-SAP solutions as well to accelerate the time to value and drive the ultimate in productivity as you're trying to develop those critical apps to meet the business customer needs within your organization. Now, it's fantastic to be able to understand business process intelligence. It's then fantastic to be able to drive that improvement capability through automation and workflow and robotic process automation, and also to be able to build these apps as well. But it's nothing if it can't be surfaced and put, put in the hands of an end user, which is not why I just want to touch on our, our, our unified user experience capabilities as well. So here within this part of the portfolio, this is where you'll find the launch pad that sits at the heart of everything at SAP with regards to that entry point as well, but also now the ability leveraging the capabilities of WorkZone, which again provides a no code and low code capability to build truly customer centric and user centric digital workplace experiences as well, where we can pull data and workflows from multiple applications, both SAP and non SAP as well. What you're seeing here on the screen, if you look at it closely, you're seeing data that's being pulled from S4 with regards to invoices and also data being pulled from success factors with regards to my goals in this case as well. So on a single pane of glass, data and processes being pulled together to put the power in the hands of an end user. And again, all configurable via a true no-code capability to be able to build these different pages and access the different data as well within their organization. 
But it's a case of, again, don't just take my word for it. Since launching WorkZone and the, and the surrounding capabilities of the extension suite, it's already been taken on board by a number of different customers who have been able to roll this out in literally a matter of weeks. But they're using it a number of different ways. So some of them are leveraging the launchpad services. Others are looking to extend success factors to provide a true le a learning experience platform. And others are looking to drive genuine end-to-end -end business transformation across a multitude of different lines of business. So so again, leveraging the power of both process automation and extension suite to really extend the application landscape to meet those mission critical business needs. What I'd like to do now is very much turn and see how we're leveraging process automation with RISE with SAP as well. So it's a case of saying how important process automation is with regards to that journey to S for HANA. So what we've done, we've taken S4, and when we combine that with the business technology platform, we've now looked at it in three distinct areas around application sort of you know, acceleration and simplification of that migration from the, from the ERP system to S4, and that could be ECC or other ERP systems. It's then a case of saying, once you're running on HANA, it's a case of saying, how can we optimize and automate those business processes? And then finally, it's a case of saying, how can we leverage the power of automation and the platform itself to drive true competitive advantage? And we've broken this down into these three distinct areas. And now what I'd like to do is take you on the journey of how we can actually get you to that true nirvana of business transformation. So what we've done, we've looked at it very much looking at ERP replacement. And once we've got you on it, that's when we move into that sort of virtuous circle as well. So again, leveraging the platform to both sort of execute sort of processes, go and monitor those processes, and then look to understand the opportunity to improve those processes as well, leveraging the business process intelligence suite and the capabilities of Signavio. So again, a true virtuous circle. And then within that process improvement capability, looking to reinvent and sort of refine those processes processes as well, again, leveraging some of the, in, the artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities, which I touched on earlier with regards to the, the AI business services as well, to drive true competitive differentiation and a true process improvement capability. So let's look at these, these, these individual elements. <clears throat> First, it's looking in case of saying, how can we accelerate you on that journey? So a case of it will be leveraging a number of the different capabilities, looking to be able to sort of clean the data. So with regards to the extension suite, there are tools that are there to actually cleanse and manage the data as well, and then build the different applications that are needed. We're also leveraging some of those pre-built bots as well for regards to that sort of transformation process as well, and automating it. And of course, as we touched on, everything's integrated as well. So all of those pre-built integration packages that are pulling, pulling together everything you need both from an SAP application perspective but also outside of SAP and the, those, that connectivity to non-SAP applications as well all in a simplified package that sits within the extension suite and drives that business transformation to get you onto S4. Once you're there, what we really look to bring to bear, and again, when we looked at those different content packages, is very much a case of how can we look to automate those processes. What we're looking to do is also transform that process as well. So it's not just about new technology and old processes. This is about actually yeah, that process transformation as well to drive genuine business transformation and agility within your organization as well. So taking those mundane and repetitive processes and automating those. And what we've done is very much understand, looking across the 25 or the 50 years of SAP and across the 25 industries to understand what are those continuous sort of repetitive processes and how can we actually automate those and that's where those different workflow packages come together and again how can we then surface that into a beautiful user experience starting with a launch pad and then expanding that into work zone as well where people can access the different data applications and workflows and even interact with it with regards to leveraging conversation AI if they want to interact with it in a different different sort of more user-friendly manner. So we've now got you up and running. We're now monitoring those sort of end-to-end -end processes as well. And now we're looking to really look to redefine those processes and drive even greater sort of capability and differentiation in here. And this is where we look to leverage some of the artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities. So again, a great illustration of this is around sort of automating the sort of document extraction. So for instance, a great example with regards an invoice. So rather as happening in this sort of day and age where some an invoice arrives, 
in the inbox as a PDF and then that data is manually copied into S4 or it comes in a spreadsheet and then it's manually copied into S4 with a great risk of sort of data error. What we're able to do now is leverage the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning to automate that process. So again, the data, the invoice could come in via a PDF. It can then be picked up. That data can then be put directly into HANA. And again, we can now look to drive and be managing via exception rather than having to actually constantly sort of create these repetitive processes. And again, leading to sort of data error as well and allow individuals to focus on higher value tasks, potentially working with that end customer that always seems to submit the invoice wrongly to actually correct that error. So again, we're looking to streamline the business process, which works on both sides of the house as well, to be able to drive genuine sort of competitive sort of um, differentiation, leveraging some of the different tools that we have. So let's just summarize this as I'm sort of, um, as we're sort of looking to wrap this session up. So what we've done and we've pulled everything together is actually on your journey to S4. So it's a case of we've looked to how we can accelerate and simplify that migration, leveraging the different process automation and different tools with regards to the integration extension suite. We've then very much looked to optimize and automate those critical business sort of processes as well. So again, those pre-built work packages that we've created for you. And then finally, we're looking to see how you can really drive competitive differentiation within your business as well, leveraging some of our intelligent sort of technologies as well. So again, either through rapid data entry or sort of looking to differentiate that sort of customer experience. Now, I've only literally had time to sort of touch on a number of these different use cases. So please, please do take the time to look to explore both the Extensibility Explorer, also the API Business Hub, where you'll find so many of these fantastic workflow packages across all the different industries and lines of business. Of course, as the bot store, I've only touched on a few of the 250 plus bots that have been created. So go and see what you can find within the bot store as well or use the no-code capability to actually build your own bots, which so many of our customers and partners have done. And finally, most importantly, is please, please do explore the Discovery Center, where you'll find the various different missions and boosters, where you can then go on and try this out using both the free trial, but also our free tier sort of capability as well all wrapped in an amazing sort of end-to-end -end capability around sort of learning and open SAP, the tutorials as well. So everything you need to be able to execute those true end-to-end -end journeys are all wrapped up for you there in the Discovery Center. And of course, with the links to the SAP community as well. In addition to the Discovery Center and OpenSAP.com and Developers.com, where you can find a multitude of different tutorials to sort of enhance your journey, please do try and join as many of my other sort of certified experts here to actually sort of take you on the journey as well to enhance your sort of experience and also your career as an SAP solution expert. So that all that leaves me now is to say thank you so much for joining me. I hope, hope you found this session insightful and please, please do enjoy the rest of TechEd. And if needs be, don't hesitate to reach out to me as you can see my contact details on the screen. Thank you so much for joining me and enjoy the rest of TechEd. Goodbye.